What you got? It's going to another video here for you. Now, a while ago, I made a video on a group policy, and a few of you said you wanted to see some more videos. So, I'm going to make a quick video here on how to restrict access to your control panel. Now, if you want to restrict access to here, you can do. You can also restrict access to any one of these items inside here if you wanted to keep the control panel open, but just restrict access to. Uh, certain things now that does take a long time to set that all up so we're just going to restrict access to the whole thing okay so we need to do here is come down to the bottom left hand corner now this is windows 8.1 right click and then we're going to go down to the where it says run click on that and now you can already see it in there so we need to type in gpedit.msc click ok this will open up our local uh, group policy editor just going to expand this part here so you can see now you want to concentrate on the user configuration area and uh, look for administrative templates come straight down here pull this little tab down and you should see something that says control panel click on that and once you click on that look on the right hand side and you should see uh, prohibit uh, access to control panel and PC settings we're going to whack that on Now once you've opened this up you can now see we have got a panel open which allows us to enable or disable okay now you might be thinking click the disable net will disable it it doesn't you need to do it the other way around it's actually enable this if we apply this and let me just okay that there and then we can go back and try to access our control panel and as you can see it's now restricting us to get access to there now I did say to you that you can also have a, um, hide specific uh, control panel items and we can also do that as well and uh, you can do this in another video but I'm just gonna undo that but if you look inside here and open this up it's the same thing but it's more for individual types of things here okay now as you can see here it gives you some examples of what you'd need to do and this will all be the CPL uh, type command as you can see here which you would add these into your list so if you enable this you show your list and then you could enable each and every one of these okay we'll probably cover that in another video now you can also disable this in the registry and I'll show you how to do that it's pretty straightforward so we're going to open up the registry editor so we want to type reg edit once you've got this open now you want to go to h key current user right once you're there you need to go to software and then you want to come down to where it says Microsoft and then you want to come down to where it says Windows so let me just open this up And then current version just open this up a bit and then policies um, policies and then Explorer now inside here we need to add in our key so we can right click on this now and add a new D word 32 bit value key okay and we need to type in here no control panel like so hit that put one in there and click OK and you should now see that once we do this we should have no control panel restricted from the registry okay so I hope this one helps you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos then hit that like button guys it really does help me out and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos also check out my forums if you've got any problems post them over there okay and also check out my Facebook page and everything else and follow me on all my other social networking groups okay so thanks again have a great weekend bye for now